Hello everyone, Steve from Tech Toy Tinker and Retro Arena. Wanted to do a real quick video to show you guys 1041 of Tomato. Basically what this is, it's got the Tomato 104 with Vulcan, it's got the Update 1, and it's got Portmaster, all packaged into the same place. So if you're coming to this as a new user, not on Tomato, just got your device, what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to copy the BIOS from your RetroArch system folder to somewhere safe and you want to delete everything off of your FAT32 micro SD except for the ROMs folder. Then you want to drag and drop the entire contents of this zip to the base of your micro SD card in FAT32 format. Once you're done that, you're going to want to put it into your system, press power and volume it down at the same time. You're going to hold it until it turns on, then let go of power. You'll see a, a logo here appear. Let go, put it down. Give it a minute. After the bar goes away, you will see the Portmaster stuff installing as well. If you're already on an existing tomato build, you can just drag and drop this directly over top of it, as long as you're already on 104 firmware. This here is made by DJWare. It does exactly what it says it does, and it's been added to the build as well. So you can see that the LEDs here are changing color to rainbow. This script here is also by DJWare. It came about because of a problem that people were noticing with it staying in the power save mode and refusing to come out. So basically you click on this, it takes a second to load. Once it does, your CPU is set to performance. So instead of running at 1.2, you're running at 1.4 and performance governor. Portmaster still works the same as it did. There is work being done to move it to the ports section, which I talked about in a previous video, but that's not ready yet. Once it is, the build will be updated, obviously. But as you can see, there's a good chunk of ports that are now working. Uh, the vast majority of them, I would say. There's obviously still some that don't, but a, a large chunk, probably 70%, give or take. All this stuff here is stuff that I've been playing with. This is actually one of my favorite games, so I'm really glad to see this here. If you're not familiar with this game, you should be. I think it's pretty cheap, too. I just want to get to the title screen here. Show you guys it's working. So as you can see, all is working well there. We got some new scripts. We got Portmaster put into Tomato. We've got the update merged into the base. Everything is together in one easy to work on location. And before anybody asks, yes, I know there's two versions of the firmware in this zip. One in the 104 folder and one at the base. And that's intentional. Sometimes when you flash the firmware, it deletes the AW image from the root of your card. So I just left it in a folder just in case that happens. So somebody still has access to the firmware in that event. Anyway. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, actually, one more thing before I wrap this up. People are asking about theming. There's two different methods that I know that work on this. You will see a themes folder on your card, but that only seems like it works for the text and stuff like that. It can be expanded and made to work with other things, but you have to clone the internal structure exactly and follow it. Then it will take precedence over whatever's on the internal. Also, in terms of theming, like the background here and the icons, these are in the MU's folder of the respective system on your SD card. So if you want to change your backgrounds and whatnot, that's where you go to do that. The Portmaster Discord will be in the link or the description of the video with a link. So if you need help, you can go ahead and contact them there if it's Portmaster specific. If it's tomato specific, you can use my Discord, Retro Handhelds, Retro Game Handhelds. You can use the website. You can ask here on YouTube. Whatever works for you. Anyways, though, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.